when we are no more in this world, what would you like to be remembered for? What I would like to be remembered for yes. is a beautiful and a difficult question at the same time. Mm. What I would be remembered for would probably be how I feel I have been able to change lives of not only people younger than me, not only students, mm. but also of some of my friends. Right. And also how I have been open to receive from them mm -hmm. the wisdom. I have been open to that and I have been equally, uh, what should I say, besides being receptive to what I have received, mm -hmm. I have been able to give. So you'd like to be remembered for a person who was giving, who was open, mm -hmm. who was receptive? Also a very happy nature. Also a very happy nature. आपको ये पता था कि आप हमेशा ऐसे ही रहेंगे या आपकी कोई जिंदगी में कोई ट्रांजिशन आई नहीं मैं समझता हूँ कि करीब अठारह उन्नीस साल तक तो आई वॉज अ सीकर आई वॉज समी हु वॉज इनिशियली नॉट नॉट नोइंग हिज वॉट शुड आई से हिज नेविगेशन पॉइंट एंड नॉट नोइंग हिज बियरिंग्स अंटल आई स्टार्ट इट बिकम अवेयर ऑफ माई सेल्फ एंड Through a process of discovery, I reached a point when it became very important for me mm. to know what is the purpose of my life. Mm. So I went through huge churning for a couple of years, right. and uh, the very purpose of existence was the only thing that mattered to me. And without that, life did not matter to me. Mm. Then gradually, mm. when the purpose became clearer to me. I think from the age of twenty. Twenty, yes. so young. Okay. Mm, yeah. Right. That's when I discovered what should I say, spirituality. Okay. Before that, I was not exactly agnostic because my grandfather gave me very high sense of values. My parents gave me very high sense of values. Mm. But I didn't go through a period of agnosticism, and mm. also. Um, a was period it uh, um, kind of? Colored by any political belief? No, it? it was purely based on intellectual uh, understanding. Understanding. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So then, I started realizing that there is something beyond the intellect. Mm -hmm. I used to think intellect is right. everything, mm -hmm. even though I had been given a good grounding, mm -hmm. you know. And one thing is very clear that religion never attracted me. so for me spirituality meant a relationship of the soul with the universe as well as with other human beings mm -hmm. and i also realized that i wanted to live life with zest mm -hmm. you know with full intensity with full joy and i also learned very quickly that this can be better achieved by merging spirituality with Dialectical materialism, if you may say. So, therefore, also um, your attraction towards uh, art, theatre, which is also has a very deep-rooted spiritual. So, at one time you were making bridges, and at one time you were doing theatre. Yeah. Uh, about hum human emotions, and this yeah. was about material, uh, yeah. material matter, and this was human emotions, and you were treading both these paths. No, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say. Bridges was about matter. It was about technology mm -hmm. and how it can benefit mankind. Okay. But it took me a while to realize that what I was doing was very significant as an engineer of uh, water resources, you know, right. and as an environmentalist. Mm -hmm. And initially, there was definitely there was a bias towards theater, mm -hmm. you know, and cultural activities. Mm -hmm. And I was able when I went to Calcutta. Mm -hmm. at the brecht international festival and we saw the biggest floods in 200 right, years right and at that time i realized that the world and i saw that outside our uh, place we were staying we were staying in a dharmshala where the festival was postponed by 3 days i saw that outside my uh, our uh, this thing dharmshala there were pavement dwellers who were in neck deep water for 3 days 
initially, I, 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 at, at one point, I had this confusion that engineering is very dry, even though I had gone through the whole engineering mm -hmm. thing. Because when I got this, through this spiritual dilemma, I started moving, veering towards uh, humanities, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then it struck me that what I am doing in engineering is also humanities, you know, that I can rescue the world from whatever disaster that happens by planning properly, by what should I say, water management, right. you know. And I believe you still do that in your home. Uh, I visited, I know, I know you, so I know you've made a lovely water harvesting in your own house in Delhi, in Vitakala. Yes. It was one of the first few water harvesting structures in Delhi, right. the first one in my own colony. And in fact, Doordarshan made a program on that, on mm. the water harvesting, and that structure is still working perfectly. <coughs> and how many years has that been? And that has been 2003, so now this is 2007, for 14 years. Oh my God. Uh, it has not needed any servicing, any maintenance or anything like that. So you've perfected, the, you're doing it at home, a domestic water harvesting system. I'm doing it at home and also encouraging people uh, to follow that. Right. And I have a web magazine. Mm -hmm on water and environment mm -hmm. and also on uh, philosophy and spirituality that's right. it's called one world right. one world with a v mm. and in that i'm also trying to spread education awareness about water right and so um, teaching has been uh, with you for a while now you you at the kachau international film festival you had a workshop for four days with children mm. and uh, i was also one of your uh, colleagues on that what is your what's your views on having um, theatre workshops in small towns like here, where you know children don't have film literacy or there's film advocacy. So what 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 would you suggest, and how do we take this further? See, first of all, one has realised that it is uh, areas away from metropolises where the real India resides, mm. and the brilliance of mind mm. is also away from metropolises. Because, you see, in a metropolis, if you're trying to learn anything, for example, like filmmaking or theatre, anything that's creative, there's a lot of unlearning to be done, you know? Right. And that's when you face a lot of resistance. But in people from uh, small towns and rural backgrounds, mm -hmm. there's no preconceived notion, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And therefore the minds are very receptive. And they can be very creative also. So the one thing that I have uh, also realized after coming to places like Bundelkhand and after visiting your Rudrani Kalagram and the kind of marvelous work that you are doing there and the big dreams that you have both in, in Orsha, in Orsha mm -hmm. and in Khajurao, mm -hmm. which uh, uh, Raja Bundela's dream and you people are both working in great synergy in both the areas. And actually, there is a lot of compatibility with the work you're doing in Dudrani Kalagram and the work you, um, Prayas Productions, is doing here mm -hmm. in uh, Khajurao. One more thing I've realized that people in Bandelkhand say mm -hmm. that uh, they need development. Right. But almost the whole world is suffering because of development, of too much development, mm -hmm. you know, of unbridled development. We in Delhi, uh, for example, where I live, are getting choked with the kind of pollution yes. that we are having. China. China, yes. everywhere no, in the world. Is, yeah. yes. So, when, when I come to a place like here, where there are lots of trees, vegetation still, less development, therefore less pollution, small populations, you know, I see that actually people have a much higher happiness index than they can have any, and what we can bring what knowledge I have gathered all through my life in different fields, whether it is engineering, whether it is water, whether it's theatre, whether it's filmmaking, whether it's animation and graphics, which is also what I teach. So all that we can bring, or I would like to give, because I have received a lot. Wow, you know? that's lovely. That's so that's really all lovely. I want to sh share. Whatever I have learned, mm. I want to share mm. with a feeling of abundance. Wow. That's and so a feeling wonderful. of, what should I say, great humbleness and gratitude towards the people who are accepting what I'm giving. And they're accepting it so well, as you mm -hmm. know, they're little children, they're sending you films, 
they, 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 they recognize you when you go there to Chhatarpur. Everybody was saying sir and ma'am and everything. They were so, so it's a great feeling. And uh, you've been teaching in, in Metropolis. So you've been teaching mm. in big colleges and universities mm. and triple IIT and all. Mm. And here these little children from small, you know, locations who've come from far away places mm. and taking permission and they have to, you know, be looked after because they're very young. Some of them are a brutal background, not educated, and yet with the kind of grace and humility that this workshop was conducted by you and Mita Vaisheshta and, and you, others. And, and you, and you, you are the one who brought us together, who strung the whole, uh, this thing, pedagogy together for, for the young. Yeah, it actually worked very well as a team. Mm -hmm. And so you think that uh, we should continue with this. What are your views on how should we take this further, this particular uh, workshop? situation you know because the children are so receptive mm -hmm. and even uh, I would say children and young adults right. are, are so receptive so open mm -hmm. so willing to learn mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. that it would be a good uh, thing that we can do for them you know it would be kind of a human service that we can do for them because you know there are what should I say the different kinds of savers Mm. One is the Kshatriyutit Seva, which is which the martial races, the army gives to the nation. One is the the Vaishyotit Seva, that is the Seva with money. Mm. And one is the Shudrutit Seva, that is when you serve people, you know. So you want to serve them with your knowledge? No. So this is Viprotit Seva. Okay. You serve them with your intellect. Oh, okay. And whatever you have okay. in your mind, you try to give. Because if you try to improve the capabilities of the mind, the empowerment of the mind, Gee. the mind is, what should I say, it is the ruler of your entire body, your entire actions, Gee. and your, or your karma, you see. So the mind is refined and Gee. polished, you know, and it can manage things well. It can manage technology in a way that it is beneficial to them as well as to the society around them, then there is nothing more beautiful than that. Wow, that's really lovely. I have one another two questions. Mm -hmm. Now, you've done so much in your life. There's so many fields that you've done. You've been successful in almost all of them. You're a family man with, with a lovely wife, children. I know them personally. What is that one particular thing still left for you to accomplish? Is there anything, one thing that you feel I have to achieve in this lifetime? So many people who say, I have to write a book, I have to an institution, I have to a world. Do you have a dream, a dream, a dream, a dream, a dream, that you think that if I do one thing, I will do one thing. It's only one thing. Because I have seen that the work that I am doing, I have seen that the work that I am doing, I have seen that मैंने पा लिया है और कुछ मैं इस जीवन में नहीं पा पाऊंगा क्योंकि देर इज नो लिमिट यू नो इन द मटेरियल वर्ल्ड टू योर इवन इन द इंटेलेक्चुअल वर्ल्ड देर इज नो लिमिट टू द अमाउंट ऑफ नॉलेज दैट यू कैन पिक अप एंड देन यू कैन डिस्पर्स और वट एवर इट इज ओनली थिंग इज द्यूमन हंगर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एन एनिमल एंड ह्यूमन बींग इज दैट एनिमल हैज फाइनाइट हंगर if a lion is well fed, then he will not attack, right. for food at least, ah. you know. But a human being's avarice for having more and more, hmm. you know. Zarurat bhi nahi to bhi chahiye. Zarurat bhi nahi to bhi chahiye, aur 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 chahiye. Aapke paas teen kaare hai, to aapko chaar chahiye. A parigraha says that have only as much as you need. Right. So, I know that as long as you can sustain yourself hmm. comfortably and meet the needs of your family, then you have to go achieve for the higher self-realization. So the only goal that I have in my life is that I should go deeper and deeper into my inner self right. and realize more and more cosmic consciousness within me and see it around me in all living beings. That's a continuous exercise so that even while I'm doing karma, I should be able to see the glow, you know, of the cosmic amongst all the living beings, amongst all the animate and inanimate objects, that is the only dream I have and I have no other dream because that, that accomplishes everything else, that inclusive of everything so else. So it's self-realization that you're seeking? Yes. Basically that. Oh, that's really lovely. 
Thank you so much. And I just want to like to know a little bit about, uh, this is the third time that you've been to Cape. I want to know, what do you feel about Cape? What do you have to say about Cape? See, first thing I'll say is that your orientation is different from any other film festival, not only in India, but anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. It is not totally celebrating film aesthetics, you know, mm -hmm. and the art of cinema, whatever mm -hmm. it entails. Mm -hmm. It is also, and it is not, uh, what should I say, too elitist also. Mm -hmm. It is trying to create awareness about cinema because it can be a very beneficial uh, medium of communication of making a society which is not fully aware about it it has not been exposed to that much mm. of cinema. First of all, making them sensitive mm. to art and culture, mm. you know, mm. and and to the film aesthetics, and uh, improving uh, their ability to use this as a medium of communication mm. and medium of self-growth. Right. So first of all, it's an inclusive thing. It is not elitist. The mm. very concept of Tapra Takis, it reminds me of the film society movement which happened right. in India. A decade or two ago, you know. In fact, I just made a round to the four other Tapra talkies. Okay. Just now, I just took the car, and I, you'll be surprised, they're all full. Except for the Tapra talkies here, which is in the central place, where mm. there were just about 20 people. Every Tapra talkies is full. Is full. So, you know, it's so heartening, and they're very big and very well constructed, well ventilated this time. Mm. So we started with one last year, now it's four, and it's five. One at the venue itself and four all over Kachau. And I'd be very happy if you get time tomorrow to just go and view because that sh is uh, that's very, very important. exciting. That is yes. very important. And You'll I be very happy to see that because yeah. you've been part of this, right? Yeah, I would also like to add one more thing. Besides making the general population, mm. the young people, aware about cinema mm. and all that, it is very important also to have trained journalists, okay. you know, and uh, critics who can analyze the cinema. Hmm. Hmm. The but people. In this culture, what kind of specialization in our culture? We can have people who, who can analyze cinema. Hmm. They can become the critics, hmm. the analysts. Hmm. We have people, as I was telling the students the other day, hmm. you know, initially most of them wanted to be actors. Ha, ha, ha. But gradually, when you and I, and Meeta Vashish, three of us work together with them. Mm. They their attitude changed. Right. As the Rani Sahib of Khajura also noticed, mm. you know, and she said in her speech uh, in, in in the first uh, uh, gathering we had with the press that the students gradually realized that there were many other avenues mm. even in cinema. Gee, acting acting, 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 acting. Because act, it is glamour which attracted them gee, towards gee, acting, gee. but. There is also um, editing, there is uh, cinematography, Ji. you know, there is set design. Ji. And also to that I want to add this Ji. criticism. Cinema. But you are saying that the critics have a vision and analysis. So that if they take a film maker and take a film, they should also be able to understand the people who can understand the film to the population. Ji. Ta, ja sake. Ji. Because you can't go on educating people who are there. There have to be people in, in this field, or in the field of journalism, who can also spread the... So how do you think that you should have done something in the year? What is your way? This depends on how much uh, support you get uh, जी, जी. from the government and जी. other agencies and all that. And after all, uh, all of you have given up your own precious time mm -hmm giving up the time that you would actually be earning for yourself and your children and giving service. So if these things are, you know, if, if they can be managed, Ji. then the more you can give, the better it is, you know. Aap ki personal experience bataiye, KIF ke baare mein. Aap ki bilkul jo, bilkul nichi experience raha. Dekhi, when do baar aayam KIF mein. Ye tisra saal hai aapka. Ye tisra, ye tisra saal hai, lekin main pehli, pehli baar aaya tha, aur tisri baar hai. Ye tisra, haan, ji, ji, bilkul, bilkul. So I have been here two times and I can see a lot of difference. Yes. The first thing is that everyone knows about KIF. The whole of Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bundelkhand, the area which is encompassed in both states. Yes. 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 Yes.
and the way Raja Bundela has taken his dream forward selflessly, you know, and, and with no personal, uh, what should I say, personal, you know, trying to get any personal benefit out, out of a sheer sense of the kind of energy he has injected uh, into the whole dream right. and the way you've supported Raja, you know, you've been like the back end of his front office, you know. So that, uh, the KIF has grown. It was beautiful even when I came for the first time, you see, because it was a dream which was starting to begin. You know? But do you see any active change since the first time you came to now? Active in the sense that it has become bigger, there is more energy, and there are now <clears throat> big filmmakers, you know, who have done giant and humongous amount of work during their lifetime, who have, who feel a certain amount of commitment towards uh, what KIF is doing, and you've got a really uh, capable governing body, you know, mm -hmm. which is which is with you in whatever dream you are having. So you've got a very good, strong team, and everybody is working selflessly, and everybody is working. What what I've really found was that people are working from their hearts more than anything else. So that is what uh, you know really makes it a moving experience. You know, and coming here has been, I mean, I'm very thankful to you for inviting me and giving me this opportunity to work with young people and also. Thank you so much, Manavanji. And here, we just want you to write a little bit.